Hello Church. Last Sunday, Campbell Baptist celebrated 129 years of being. Each year, we as a church stop and give thanks to God. We remember the past, and as we reflect, we can't help but give him praise for who he is, for what he has done, and for all he is doing within us now, and for what he will do through us in the future. And our service helped us to do just that. Bob reflected on CBC's past. Barbara, Angie, Mel, Lauren and Karan gave thanks and praise to God in song so beautifully. And that lifted my own spirit to worship and give thanks to God for all his goodness and faithfulness to me. And Nathan looked to the future and our journey of renewal for God to put a new heart and a new spirit within us to bring him glory as he continues to work in and through us. So today, for our midweek devotion, I want to continue the theme of thankfulness. The act of giving thanks is the grateful acknowledgement of benefits or favours, especially to God. There are many verses in the Bible that give thanks or exhorts us to give thanks to God. And here are just a few. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good and his love endures forever. I will give thanks to you forever. Thanks be to God who always leads us. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift of grace. Thanks to him who sits on the throne. Give thanks in all circumstances. Just look up your concordance for references and you'll find many, many more. In particular, 1 Chronicles 16 is a favourite of mine. It's David's Psalm of Thanks. This chapter begins with the Ark of God. Israel's enemies have been subdued and David is their new king. They've retrieved the ark, a symbol of God's presence and protection, and set it inside the tent that David had pitched. Offerings were presented before God and the people were blessed by David in the name of the Lord and food was given to each Israelite man and woman. David appointed Levites to minister before the ark of the Lord to make petition, to give thanks and praise to God. And this was also done with music and song. So against this background, David speaks from verse eight. Give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known among the nations what he has done. Sing to him, sing praise to him, tell of all his wonderful acts. Glory in his holy name, let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord and his strength, seek his face always. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles and the judgments he pronounced. David goes on in verses 13 to 28 to remember God's judgments, the covenant with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in Israel and God's deliverance and protection. David speaks of God's salvation, his glory, his marvellous deeds among all peoples, his greatness and supremacy over all gods and idols of the nations. David ascribes glory and strength, splendour, majesty, strength and joy to the Lord, to God. And in verse 29, out of praise and thankfulness, bring an offering and worship the Lord in the splendour of his holiness and rejoice with the heavens. And this is exactly what we did as a church on Sunday. We gave thanks. We remembered who God is and what he has done for us here. And we brought our thanksgiving offerings before God as an act of praise and worship for his great love and faithfulness to us as his people at CBC. Thankfulness and gratitude is a state of being. It's a choice we can make daily to see the positive around us in people and in our circumstances, to see the positive in people, even if they've wronged us in some way, to see the positive in our circumstances, even though it seems dark and uncertain, and especially in 2020 with COVID, so much uncertainty, grief, despair, financial hardship, constrained freedoms. I've been challenged to thank God every day, especially when I'm feeling negative and discouraged. As David has modelled in his psalm of thanks, firstly, I give thanks. And to be honest, when I'm feeling particularly discouraged or things look bleak, it's difficult. But I found it's a choice to be thankful. And I start with thanking him for my garden. 
the joy of seeing the flowers bloom, for the colour, the fragrance, the sunshine, and then I find my attitude shifting. Secondly, I remember his faithfulness, particularly the blessings and miracles God has done in my life in the past. Again, if I'm finding it hard to be positive, remembering his goodness and faithfulness helps my attitude to shift. And thirdly, after I give thanks and remember, I worship and praise him and call on his name. As I lift my eyes heavenward and I again focus on praising him, I can't help but think of his greatness, his majesty, his strength, his glory. This is the God whom I serve, who promises to never leave nor forsake me, whatever the circumstances I find myself in. So this is my challenge for you, your midweek workout. I find three things every day to thank God for. And firstly, thank him for those three things. Secondly, remember back at what he has done for you in your life. Salvation, specific words of encouragement, answered prayers, healings, miracles, his presence and peace in troubled times. And thirdly, bring your offering of praise and worship to him. I'd love to know how you go with this. Drop me an email. So, Let's give thanks to the Lord forever, for he is good and his love endures forever. And all the people said, Amen, and praise the Lord. <laughs>